Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to another art journal layout. Today I'm playing with this new die set by Altenew. This is the Craft Flower Daisy. It gives you different dies that you can layer one on top of the other to create daisies as well as the leaves. Now this is not a stamp set, just a die. If you follow me, you know that I love the flowers that Altenew releases and from time to time I do make art journal pages for a flower journal that I have. This is an alphabet journal and I did share all the pages on my YouTube channel and so today it's time to create a page for the letter D. I am working on thick watercolor paper and I will use a trellis stencil and my embossing paste. I always pick up the paste with the back of my spatula and this makes it super easy to apply it on your project and notice how thick it is so it stays nicely on top of your spatula it is really easy to spread out and at the same time it holds its shape now of course this is white on white but in the next step the beautiful design is going to show up to add color on my background i'm going to play with shimmer sprays today so first of all i'm wetting the whole area just water and I'm going to combine two shimmer sprays by Altenew and these are frayed leaf the green one and the bluish one is ocean waves remember this is watercolor paper so it's going to dry nice and flat and you can now see the texture and the design of the embossing paste I did use my heat gun just to speed up the drying process but of course you can leave it aside to dry this is the Ocean Waves, the same spray that I used for the background and I'm just going to add a few splashes. I'm also using a blue ink and I'm going to do some stamping at the background, just a text stamp that I had for ages. Now I'm using a blue ink and I'm going to ink up the edges just to darken them up a little bit. This is something I always like to do. For that I'm using my big blending brush. The color I'm using here is Dusk and to deepen up the color even more I'm going to bring in the next darkest color which is Desert Night and I am happy with how my background is looking so I'm going to work on my focal points so here I'm bringing in all those dyes I'm going to use the basic shapes I'm going to cut out everything from white cardstock and actually this is watercolor paper the same watercolor paper that I used for the background so all the textures match this has actually a little bit of tooth, it's not a smooth. I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine and these are going to be the bases of my flowers. There is a second layer I need to cut out. And I'm also going to cut out the centers as well as the leaves. For the leaves I did use green cardstock, but for the top layer, since I want them to be slightly darker, I'm going to use my blending brush and I'm going to darken them up I didn't use a darker shade of green to cut out the second layer, I just wanted to have that blended look as it gives a completely different look. Now I'm using my glue and I'm going to stick one layer on top of the other and I have instant shading on my leaves. For the center of the daisies there are two pieces, I went with brown on top of black just because I like the contrast against the white daisy but of course you can go with yellow which is the normal color of a daisy's center i'm doing a little bit of inking at the center of all those pieces the color i'm using is sun ray and with my blending brush i'm adding just a touch of that color at the center now i'm going to do the same thing for the main pieces the bases here now you can put all those layers together by using glue which is going to end up having a really flat uh, flower however you will have all the dimensions since you have different uh, cardstock one on top of the other and it does give a little bit of dimension however for my daisies on this page I decided to go with foam tape at the back this makes um, the flower dimensional and fuller and for the centers again I'm using little foam squares Now I am putting together the second daisy and they are really easy to put together. All you have to do is to make sure that uh, no petals are overlapping. You want to make it a little bit offset so that you can see the petals underneath. 
Now, after playing a little bit with the arrangement, I decided where everything is going to go. For one of the daisies, I'm going with foam tape at the back, so it's going to be a little bit raised. For the other one, I went with uh, glue, so it's completely flat. On my flower art journal, I do have a big letter on every page and I usually print out the definition of the flower. So here I'm using my label maker to do that, but of course you can use your printer. And I did cut out the letter D out of black cardstock and I used the classic alphabet die for that. I always use this set of uh, alphabet dies, so I have a kind of a consistency throughout all of my pages. I'm going to glue down the letter D. I do have a little uh, uh, printout that says Daisy, which is going to go on top of that. And I'm also going to stick down the rest of the phrases. I'm using a thin black marker to go all around those stickers. And I'm also going to grab my white gel pen and add some highlights here and there, just because I like that look. I added a highlight on the letter on the leaves at the center of the flowers and I think these li little highlights really make all those images pop. Now finally I'm going to add some white splashes. I'm using a scrap piece of paper to cover up my letter and for the splashes I'm using pure white spray ink. This is by Altenew. It has a matte finish and I find it great for splashes. So this is going to finish off my page. Here are some close-up photos. Just like always, you will find links down below to everything I used. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired, and I'll see you all next time.